Well, good morning. It's a uh, Tuesday morning at nine o'clock. We've got 15 degrees today. Uh, no wind today. No wind. It's absolutely uh, mill pond conditions. That's what's forecast for the day. So we'll see how that pans out. Um, I'm meeting a guy from the community jet ski forum on Facebook today. Um, this is a great, one of the great things about jet ski fishing. It's a good community and people sort of shout out anybody going out today and you put your hand up and sort of meet up and meet some new people so that's good um, and on it's the week of the boat show the boat show is coming Friday so there's a lot of uh, build up for that and um, everyone's sort of busy getting ready for that so uh, it's a great time to sneak out for a fish uh, I'll be going for a couple of hours and then um, head home and do some work okay we'll see you out there yeah it's an absolute mill pond down here it's um looking very nice. Looks like there's a bit of fog out towards uh, Rangitoto Island and a bit further out but yeah, there's just no wind at all so uh, looking pretty special. So it's low tide right at the moment um, so this is actually good timing because the tide will start to come in and that uh, generally will bring the fish on the bite. Alright let's go and launch her. <laughs> G'day Clive, how are you? <laughs> G'day Paul, pleased to meet you. So this is part of the uh, the great thing about jet ski fishing, you meet, meet great guys like this from the community, so you don't get that with a lousy old stinking boat, do you? No. Right, so I'm just on the uh, western side of Otata Island now, uh, in between the two islands. So the two biggest islands, it's Otata Island at the Noises, and so oh yeah, so between these two islands, it, it can be quite good. Oh, this is a uh, this feels like a trevally. So that's good. This will be a good trevally. <sighs> yeah. And these trevally are beautiful eating when they're fresh. Yeah, this is definitely a trevally. They've got very soft mouths. He's got to go a little bit easy and he's going to go right. He's going to go under the ski and we'll bring him around this side. A bit of drag. And he's coming back again. They always give you a good run for your money, these Trevally. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's not that big actually, but he'll be a, he'll be, oh yeah, no, he's a good size. He'll be good for smoking. I'm going to smoke him up. They are absolutely delicious, these. There he is. Beautiful, fresh trevally. Oh man, that's made my day. 
these guys smoked I don't think there's anything better than smoked trevally they're absolutely delicious so that's one to the old catch livey pilchard that's um that's great that's, that's them here where are they there we are New Zealand company catch um, curly tail four inch pilchard thanks Scott McDonald if you're watching you put me onto those ones so thank you it's got a nice trevally so very happy with that right we'll get this guy into the slurry There he is, oh he's a good size, oh it's a kingfish, a little kingfish. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't want to come on. He's not quite ready yet, yeah he's just a very small kingfish. There you are, mate. Let's get you back. Yeah, he's uh, nowhere, nowhere near legal, that fella. So we'll just try and get him back as quickly as possible. And uh... whoa, hang on, mate. There he's off. Yeah, so the bites are pretty slow, and the tide is running now, but we, um, all of us just catching these very small snapper, so just got to bring them up nice and slow. That one looks in good condition, so we can release them without uh, hurting them. Right, down we go again. So this can be normal when the bite's hard, that uh, the small fish will feed pretty much through both tides, and even at low tide, high tide, they keep feeding. And then the bigger fish tend to have sort of one bite, and you just gotta be around for that big bite when they're hungry. I've got plenty of sign on the sounder, so there's no shortage of fish here. There's a water, but, oh yeah, oh. Gotcha. Now this feels slightly better. Oh yeah. I'm just going to mark this spot because it's uh, actually quite a good spot. Chart. New waypoint. Save. Right. Oh, yep. That's definitely a keeper fish. It's not a big one, but it's definitely yeah, definitely legal, and I'll be taking that one home. Yeah, we've got a few though, but. Uh... I'm going to go. I'm thinking I might go right up to uh, roll. Oh really? Okay. Paul Senior just uh, went live. There's workups out at the uh, barrier, Trifina, but it's a bit far to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I got four, so yeah. I thought I'd just finish the clip today with the uh, Trevally being smoked. And I'm using a very clever little New Zealand invention um, it's a UFO smoker. It's an attachment for your barbecue. They're not expensive, they're made, made out of stainless, very good quality. And that goes down to a little air pump there. Uh, which keeps the um, keeps the stuff burning hot inside there and smoking away beautifully as you can see and that just gets pumped straight into your barbecue and in here we have 
the, uh, I just want to turn that right off now. So I find once you get the barbecue to heat, you just turn it off and let it smoke, uh, it will cook really beautifully. But uh, they will come out nice and dark and go on. I've actually got, I've got shoestrings dribbling out the side of my mouth thinking about this. But anyway, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm putting out weekly videos now. And if you want to check out the gear I use, just click on the links in the description below and you can see all the gear. So, hey, thanks for uh, watching, and we'll see you next week.